Watch out! Apollo Justice Ace Attorney is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB content rating system due to it featuring mild blood, suggestive themes, and violent references? Whatever those are. Oh well, viewer discretion is advised for this Let's Play series. Hey there, Roddy! I'm Marty. Welcome back to Apollo Justice Ace Attorney, everybody. Now with 100% more make-believe language acting. <laughs> Although not for me. For well, somebody else. She still might speak Borghini. Eh, just fine. not as much. Anyhow, we're on Turnabout Serenade. We're on the first trial, but it's day two. Yeah. July 9th, 10 a.m., District Court, courtroom number three. Right off the bat, no okay. lobby. Court is now in session for... How do I say that? Machi Tobaye, your honor. The pixie of the arpeggio. Right, uh, his trial. Court is in session. The defense is ready, your honor. The prosecution is A-OK, -okay, Air Judge. Hmm. Very well, Prosecutor Gavin. Ah, my opening statement, yeah. Oh, uh, no, no. Actually, there was something else I wanted to ask you about. A uh, burritos for lunch. <laughs> uh, yes? So you're going to visit someone in the hospital with an incurable disease. What do you say to them? Eh? I mean, you wouldn't say get well soon, right? You'd only be kicking them when they're down. Um, what are you talking about? <clears throat> uh, actually, I'm going to visit someone who is terminally ill right after this trial. The Chief Justice's son. Oh my gosh. The Chief Justice? His son is afflicted with a most terrible disease. He doesn't have long, it seems. Ah. So I thought I'd go pay him a visit. I thought saying something moving might be the order of the day. Why don't grown-ups ever just say what's on their mind instead of pretending? She's looking at me with something like... Disgust. Hey! What are you looking at me like that for? In any case, I'm a bit busy today, so let's wrap this up quickly. You need to do this trial in three minutes! <laughs> Prosecutor Gavin, your op opening statement, briefly. You're in luck, Air Judge. I believe you'll be going to your hospital visit sooner than you think. First to review the victim in this case. Romain Latous, age 35. The global manager for Diva Sonstress Lamiwa. Oh, I know who else this guy looks like. Two guys that I can think of. Richard from... Guess Who. Guess Who. who. <laughs> Second, there is this dude from Pentatonix that was in the band, but he just recently left. Who He looks exactly like him. I'll have to pull uh, okay. up a picture afterwards. It's he also like looks shocking. a little bit like a really old pastor. Really? I, not I guess not I the one know. you're thinking of. I guess I wouldn't know. The cause of death, blood loss due to being shot by a large caliber revolver. At least it's not blunt force trauma to head. That only happens in one case in this game. <laughs> that happens sometimes. in like only one case in every game, but except it the happens. first one. Oh my gosh. It Gunshot so wound is way more common than blunt force trauma. Yeah, but blunt force trauma, it's, it's so specific. <laughs> it's, like gunshots, like yeah, of course a gunshot. This report has all the details. The court accepts this into evidence. Latusa's autopsy report added to the court record. 45 caliber? That's quite large, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Oh. Death due to a loss of blood from a gunshot wound. Estimated time of death 9 to 9.30 p.m. We know exactly when it was, didn't we? <laughs> That's true. Time of death July 7th between 9 and 9.30. Blood loss to 45 caliber bullet wound. Time elapsed between shooting and death currently under review. It was like literally less than five minutes. Mm -hmm. A direct hit from that could knock a man off his feet. However, the bullet struck him in his shoulder. The damage to the body was slight, death was not immediate. Sadly, his blood loss was such that he could not be saved. Hmm, I suppose the victim's condition could have been much worse considering. Crime photo added to the court record. Two shots were fired. One shot missed, the other penetrated and passed through the victim's shoulder. Both bullets are found in the wall at the scene. Observe the diagram. Okay. This is where the bullets hit. I see. The court accepts this evidence. Diagram added to the court record. If we're talking about a 45 caliber revolver, we must assume that the killer was adept at the weapon's use. Yeah, a shark head. Really? Yeah, apparently weapons that size have a powerful kickback. If, say, the judge tried to fire one, it'd break every bone in his body. The defense will take more care in choosing examples. <laughs> As I was saying, the victim was shot backstage in a dressing room. This dressing room has only one entrance, this door. That does seem to be the case, yes. 
However, there were witnesses who heard the gunshots. He's talking about you and Emma, huh? Yet when the witnesses entered the room, it was empty, save for the victim's body, of course. But, but that's, that's impossible! Exactly. This murder was impossible. My wonder... For all but one person. One person? That is, of course, the defendant, Machi Tobaye. The other option is, we literally saw this lady, like, fly, number one. <laughs> and also, like, she, like, threw her cloak off and it was like, whoosh! And she was gone with the wind. And then where her cloak, like, flew, she then, like, reappeared there. Yeah. So, that could have happened. She could have just been hiding in the room and then we're like, oh my gosh, somebody leave. Somebody get help. Somebody... Uh. Except the murder happened after that. During the third act. Yeah, but that's exactly it. She, with that cloak thing, wasn't doing something in the third act, so she could have oh, done it. Oh, okay. Only this defendant could have committed the crime? But how? It's quite simple. The circumstances of the crime scene make it clear. Very well, I assume you have testimony to back up this claim. Let the witness please take the stand. Well, this is gonna be fascinating. Oh, never mind, it's her. It's not fascinating. Your name and profession, please. Emma Sky. I'm a detective for the police department. I was on security detail at the concert forum that day. Emma, that night. Emma seems tired somehow. It's because mm. she can't have her snack hooves in the. <laughs> yeah. In the security room. at the concert, you say? Some security I was couldn't even stop a murder. She's very nonchalant about it. <laughs> couldn't stop a murder, oh well. Now, don't blame yourself. Things like this happen. I've made even bigger mistakes in my career, you know. I'm sure that makes her feel much better! I want to hear about these bigger mistakes. In any case, because you were on security detail, the crime was quickly discovered. And we were able to identify the killer. You may give the court your testimony if you would. Describe the circumstances that day and your discovery of the crime, please. Alright. Witness testimony. I'm eating snackoos. I mean, murderous circumstances. <laughs> The night of the murder, I was on security backstage, at Prosecutor Gavin's request. Only people involved with the concert in some way were allowed backstage. At the beginning of the third set, I heard shots. I went into the room, filled with blaring rock music, and found the body. I examined the scene and determined that only the defendant could have done it. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. It was lucky that a detective was the first on the scene. But that door was the only way out of the room, right? Yeah, pretty much. Then I don't get it. How can they say that Machi did it? Looks like we need a bit more information. Very well, the defense may begin the cross-examination. <sighs> oh, you know her nervous her. tick is going to be eating snacks. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> or like digging for her snack bag. The night of the murder was the night of the concert, yes? That's right. What was the detective doing on security detail, might I ask? If it was only a concert? My thoughts exactly. But orders are orders, even when they come from rock gods. Prosecutor Gavin? Yes, allow me to explain. <laughs> I smelled something that day, you might say. The stench of conspiracy. That day at the concert hall. Conspiracy? Well, isn't it obvious? My keys! That whole morning, no, that whole day was ruined. And it's all because someone stole my keys! I couldn't ride my hog to the show! I couldn't open my guitar case! There he goes again. Isn't it possible he simply misplaced them? Misplaced them?! Misplaced items don't just wander into a murder victim's hand on their own. What's this?! Prosecutor Gavin, if your keys were in the victim's hand, that makes you a prime suspect! He's like, whoops. <laughs> Love, slow acting and new, Atroquinine is waiting for you. He's singing something. No, he's just talking. <laughs> Does everything of this guy have to be so over the top? The killing happened in the middle of my concert. I was like a sailor adrift on a sea of sound and the moon. Anyway, I didn't want anything else stolen. So I put the detective with the most time on their hands on the task. I see. I can accept that. Well, I can't. What do you mean, time on their hands? Please, the testimony. Only people involved with the concert were allowed backstage. 
and us. We were let in. We were let in, though. I didn't know about that. I certainly didn't invite you. I gave the Fräulein special permission to be there. I wanted to see her again. Oh boy, did you hear that? We're officially involved now! Oh boy! <laughs> she <ain't> great! <laughs> Some other hangers-ons tried to get backstage, but I drove them off. They were probably there to see you, Emma. It's because you're so pretty. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Emma, Sky, Emma Sky, I keep saying Emma. Yeah, Emma Sky. Emma Sky, yeah. I thought you were talking about. Um, They're like, oh, let's go see Clavier backstage. She's just like, <laughs> like staring them down. Who's, who's the hot chick eating snacks? Don't I, know. <laughs> I don't know. I, I'd be more interested in seeing Emma than Clavier yeah. for sure. Yeah. Th then again, I don't like rock concerts. You don't like rock concerts. I've been to like one. I'm more just like, oh, you have snacks. Sweet, can I have one? <laughs> no, no. Okay, I guess not. So no other outsiders are there then. And then. And then. At the beginning of the third set. Shots. Shot, shot, shot. I believe we were having a chat when we heard the shots. You were the one chatting. I was eating snack -hoos. Oh, hey, no snacking in court. And you're sure the shots came from Lamoua's room? Yes, absolutely. Hey, I'm the one being cross-examined here. Here, this'll keep you quiet. Ah, uh, uh, thanks. So, <laughs> how about it? <laughs> uh, we were right. There. Hard to be mistaken about that. Uh. Please either talk or eat, not both at the same time. Right, so after that, me and Mr. Lawyer there opened the dressing room door. <laughs> I like her way more in this. She's so great in this! She's I know. Way better in this. I actually didn't think I would ever see her again either. <laughs> after that case, I was like, yeah, whatever. They put Okay, some here's the thing. In. She probably was only going to be a one off character, but like, the fans adored her. In that one case? Yes. Why? She's like the weird science chick that is basically Because she Maya. had a cute design and a tragic backstory. Yeah, okay, I guess. I don't know. It was just weird. You just hated that case. That, it was way too long. I feel like, like I feel like you feel that way about that case the same way I feel about the second case of and this game. And that may be. I, like, adore Rise from the Ashes. That was my favorite case in the first game. Really? Yeah. I felt like first game, every case got progressively better than the last. I, I will agree with that. Some of it was... That was one of the only cases where I truly got stumped so many times on where it was going. Where, like, we'd present the evidence, yeah. and then once they explained it, I was like, Oh, I guess that kind of makes sense, but I never would have picked that evidence to explain what oh. they just said. And so <laughs> there were so many times where we were sitting... Because I rewatched a bunch of those videos where I'm like... We're just sitting here looking through evidence while I'm like, hmm, hmm. Yeah. Maybe it's th maybe it's this thing, and then we're like, nope. Okay. Filled the filled the room with blaring rock music and thought about Emma just comes in boombox it all. Too tall comes and crashes the party. Boombox it all. Rock. Blaring, yes. When you say rock, are you referring perhaps? To this rock and roll music that's so popular these days. That's right. When we went into the dressing room. Music was blaring over the speaker on the wall. They pipe sound from the stage into the backstage through the effect or through the speakers. That way people in the back can hear when they're supposed to be on stage. Yep, do that for my shows. Did it have to be so loud? You don't listen to the Gaviniers with your ears. You feel it with your entire body and soul. I always have the backstage monitors at full volume. When we walked into the room, the band was playing Guilty Love, I believe, making it easy to determine the time of, de of the crime. Hmm, if you could hear that music playing, then everyone on stage for that song has an alibi, including myself. Anyway, I closed off the scene and started my investigation. I examined the scene, and determined that only the defendant could have done it. How, how could you know something like that? How could you, you say, say that? that? <laughs> As I said, it was clear from the circumstances. Listen, we know there was only one exit from the room, that door. The small window only opened a tiny crack, and I was standing in front of that door. So, how could the killer have fled the scene? There's only one possibility, the air vent. Oh. But, but that air vent was too small! Who could possibly- Exactly. 
There's certainly no way you could get in through. Or get in there. Get through. Nor me. The only one who could have fit through was a child. A child? Remember, access to those rooms was limited. Only those involved with the concert were allowed. And of all the people involved with the concert, only one is small enough to be considered a child. The the defendant? The pixie of the arpeggio fitted up towards the sky. Oh, flitted up towards the sky. He also fit through the air vent. And disappeared from the scene of the crime. I... I think what's gonna happen is it's not gonna be that at all. And it's just gonna be like, you idiot, you didn't check behind the TV where the, like, where the killer was. <laughs> like, we didn't look at everything. We just kind of walked Colonel in. Mustard's just back there. Don't look, don't look, don't look, don't look. Okay. <laughs> that would have been bad because I was wearing my full Colonel Mustard, like, outfit. outfit. Holding a candlestick in one hand. <laughs> yeah. But, but that's just conjecture. Oh, there was no other way out of that room. You were there. You should know Air Forehead. And there's another vital piece of evidence. Evidence? What? Marks were found on the air vent grill. Traces that had recently been opened. Wait, what? And someone else, or something else was found, quite clearly. The defendant, Machi Tobaye's fingerprints. What? What? Well, that's not good. Order, order, order. Maybe he just went playing in the air vent. I don't know why you would do that. He's Maybe... blind. Okay, well, <laughs> that already... Again, I don't think he's blind. I think that is, like, a part of his thing. He's... Okay, he's a 14-year-old pianist. Do you really think he's... I'm just gonna go play in the air vent. <laughs> okay, I guess he is 14. I, looking at him, I always am like, he's eight. I don't know, 14-year-olds are dumb. I was a dumb 14-year-old. So was I, but I was—I didn't play in the air vent. You're smarter than most. You also didn't get, like, shut in a locker. Like my or friend. shut someone in a locker. Or shut, I shut someone in a locker. <laughs> That's a different story. <laughs> that air vent was the only way out of the room. The defendant's fingerprints were found on the grill. Well, air forehead, what fairy tale does this suggest to you? <clears throat> only one could pass through that vent, that doorway to heaven. And that one is our pixie. What about shark head? He's pretty skinny. But he's tall. He's, he's, like, just, he's like Jaws from GoldenEye multiplayer. We didn't notice that Golden his legs were dangling player. out of it. <laughs> Jaws, wow. <laughs> like the only guy who's tall enough who can like glitch up into the ventilation yep, shaft on yep. the facility. <laughs> Why are you looking at me, Apollo? Hey, I was out whooping it up in the audience. So this is, was his decisive evidence. Hmm, quite decisive indeed. I believe that's enough of that. The prosecution has a rather convincing case. The only way in and out of the crime scene was watched, making the defendant the only one who could possibly leave the scene. Simple and decisive. Ugh. I believe we've heard enough to determine our verdict. Um. Even if I wasn't in a hurry to make a hospital visit. I'm sure the Chief Justice will appreciate the gesture. Unfortunately, we have no direct witnesses. Fortunately, the criminal left decisive evidence for us. <laughs> that will have to be enough. We know there's a decisive direct witness who was there. Uh, it can't be over already. Very well, I believe this trial is finished. If the defense has no contradicting evidence, the prosecution has presented our proof clear and plain. If you have contradicting evidence, it had better be clear and plain. Uh, uh, Apollo, they've got us on the ropes already. we better come up with something quick. I know, I know. Think, what can get us out of this? We need evidence or a witness that can prove Machi is innocent beyond a doubt. Without that, oh, Mr. Justice, do you really call that a gulp? That sounded like a grunt. <laughs> <laughs> do you have? My, I'm so manly that when I gulp, I grunt. <laughs> <laughs> do you have contradicting proof that can overturn the prosecution's case? If you do, you better tell us about it now. This is it, and so soon. If I mess this one up, it's all over. The court wants contradicting proof. I don't have... <laughs> well, too bad. I... I don't have contradicting proof, actually. Too bad. Very well, this court finds the defendant. Hold it. W wait! W what for? We have a... Uh, uh, what was it called? C contradictional proof? A anyway, whatever it is, we've got it. Is this true? Of course it's true. Show him, Apollo. What the heck are you talking about? <laughs> Look. 
we give up now, and Machi's really done for! She's right! If we give up here, we're finished! I need proof or a witness. I have to have something! Alright, we'll give you another chance then. Do you have contradicting proof that can overturn the prosecution's case? No! <laughs> no, I don't! <laughs> Too bad! Too bad! <laughs> uh, I mean, yeah, it's yeah. called a witness. The defense is prepared to show contradicting evidence! This should be interesting. What sort of evidence? Yes, what sort of evidence, Mr. Justice? We know you don't have underwear this time. <laughs> oh, man. Look at the- No. This evidence does more than contradict, it flips the whole case on its head! Thank you for presenting evidence that is both clear and plain as requested. He, I'm just imagining Apollo Justice, like, whips out the mixer and is like, <laughs> <laughs> Why are we both doing it like the turntables? Turn table. <laughs> That's not how mixers work. Yes, clearly and plainly wrong. I'm afraid the only thing flipped on its head here was I you just... as a child, Mr. Justice. Eesh. I just realized... I think there are two things that could work here. What? You could either present the witness... La me la me la me or you could present her brooch, and either could work. Oh! Check that. Good idea. My claim is clear. The only person who could have fled the scene was the defendant. And there were no witnesses! There are no witnesses! I fear the defense's no options witnesses. are limited, Mr. Justice. <laughs> Ah, there's only one way out of this. I will submit the evidence. Okay, I'll try the brooch, actually. I didn't think about that. This should be interesting. What Are... sort of things do you Is that have? your clavier voice? No. <laughs> this is my... Do your best clavier voice. Hey, I'm clavier. That's pretty good, actually. <laughs> this evidence does more than contradict. It flips the case on its head. No, it doesn't. Okay, well, fine. We're gonna call Winnie's it. Prosecutor Gavin, you claim that there were no witnesses to this crime. Are you absolutely sure? Absolutely. I'd swear it on my career as a prosecutor. Oh, that's a terrible. What? That's a terrible thing to swear upon. <laughs> and on my million seller hit, the song Atroquinine, my love. There he goes again. That's too bad, because there was a witness. So you owe me a million dollars. <laughs> oh, oh, really now? But how did you come to possess knowledge the prosecution clearly does not? Because Kavio is a moron, and I'm the only one in the world who knows this! <laughs> What's going on? I just talked to him and now... Uh, not this flashback again. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Matus, this again? Cold. cold. So cold. Witness. You're cold? Don't worry, I'll get you a blanket. <laughs> Can't, Can't see. see. Get hey, in, in there, there we'll witness. A... Uh, who's the witness? The witness is Siren. Siren? What? The victim said this before he died? Perhaps he did, and perhaps he did not. What do you mean by that? All we know is what Air Forehead says he heard said. It's no testimony, especially since it comes from the defense attorney himself. Okay, well, shut up. That's why I didn't want to be the defense attorney. But it's the truth! He said it! I even told you about it! But apparently you ignored me completely! <laughs> it's my policy to fully investigate everything I deem relevant. Clearly, this rookie lawyer thinks he can tell me how to do my oh, job. Oh, 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 yes, we can. <laughs> yeah, because you're not rub very up, good at it. Rub it up in your face. Rub a dub dub in your tub. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's enough. Mr. Justice, we need clear contradictory proof from you. This witness of yours, unknown to the prosecution, I hope you're right, failure carries a stiff penalty. Perhaps a stiffer penalty than usual is called for? Er, there's no backing out now. Let's hear the name of your witness, Mr. Justice. <laughs> Phoenix Wright, my old man, my old chump. And you claim that they witnessed the murder? This is a bit unexpected, and you have proof. Well, actually, uh-oh, I can't think of anything. I know that look, Mr. Justice. It's the look of a man who's about to be penalized. <laughs> I doubted there was a witness in the first place. No one had time. They were far too busy rocking to our wild sounds. My heart was handcuffed to the stage. I know that. I felt nothing. It's sad but true. Some people will never appreciate true art. Why is he pointing at me? Emma was the one who insulted him. How can I get him to accept there was a witness? I need some kind of proof. Let's start all over again. Oh. If we say Machi, what happens? Oh. Same Same thing, thing. never mind. Lamuwa? Recall Mr. Latusa's last words. Again. 
the witness is siren. <laughs> I like how he's just getting more dramatic. <laughs> the siren. Aha! Uh -huh. He meant the siren. Yes, this, they're the same word, Your Honor. That's right. The siren of the ballad, Lamewa. Lamewa was the only one on stage in the. She was only on stage in the second set. Sorry, I'm, I'm tongue tied. All of these uh, here. <laughs> And she had access to the backstage area. She could have been a witness. I see. Well, could Prosecutor have? Gavin, my claim still stands. There was no witness to this crime. Guess what? Very well. Proving you wrong! Let's hear it from the horse's mouth then, shall we? We will now take a break from Detective Emma Skye's cross-examination. Will you show Lama Wah to the witness stand? Well, we'll show her to the witness stand next time. On Apollo Justice okay. Ace Attorney. Thanks for watching, everybody. I look forward to next episode. We're going to hear Marty talk more. Yeah. You're, you're going to sing. I hope I get to sing. I'm good at singing. Yeah, you Sometimes. are. Okay, like, you're often not warmed up when you do this. Oh, like, absolutely. Ever. But when you're warmed up, you're, like, really good. Aw, thank you. She was Belle on Broadway. Uh, not Broadway. No, not, not, not Broadway. Broadway. <laughs> she was My Belle in a high production. school production of Beauty and the Beast, but she was really good. And she brought our old church friend to tears. So. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, yeah you're really I good. Brought, I brought a few people so, to tears. Not from, from not from how bad I was, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <you're laughs> so bad. <laughs> <laughs> so Marty's homework before next episode: warm up your voice. No, I, you, I you, can't. You don't have to. It's fine. Until we meet again, my friends. Have a great day and God bless. <laughs>